New at 430, there's some new help tonight for families dealing with Alzheimer's. You know, 80,000 people in Connecticut suffer from this disease, and many wander away, leaving families in a panic. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is here to tell us how state police have found a way to bring them home safely. Susan. Kara, this is really a terrific partnership. Many of us know someone who has Alzheimer's or someone who is taking care of a person with this illness. And sadly, six out of 10 people with Alzheimer's will wander away. The goal is to find them as quickly as possible. When I came back exactly nine minutes later, the front door was open and my mother was gone. It's painful for Miriam to talk about what happened to her mother. Mary had Alzheimer's. She had never wandered off before, but suddenly, on one of the coldest days, Mary disappeared. Miriam frantically called 911, trying to give police information. What was her mother wearing? It took a while to find a recent photo. My mom was found the next morning. Um, it was tragic, it didn't end well. Um, and it was a very sad story. Every minute counts, and the sooner a person is found, the better. That's the goal behind a new partnership with the state police and families. When somebody's in the database, we have it accessible through Collect, which is available at every troop, um, every police department. State police have created a new registry. It's called Bring Me Back Home. Families provide a photo of their loved one and all sorts of important information, such as clothing and habits that can help bring them back safely. In that time of panic, it's hard to think of, do you have a recent picture? Where did they used to work? Because they may go there. Where did they used to live? Because they may go there. Instead, this is just all going to be on the registry that will be easily pulled up by any police officer in the state. Many things go through your head. Tanya Mara understands what families go through. Her mom, Ginny, has Alzheimer's. Fortunately, Ginny was found when she disappeared. But Tanya knows it could happen again. Time is the essence. The more time goes, away, goes by, the less likely the outcome is going to be positive. Giving police information in advance is critical and can really help find people faster. The launching of this registry is timely. Given the holiday season, there are large gatherings this time of year, and for some it can be overwhelming and they may wander off. For more information, please visit the Channel 3 app and the Channel 3 website. In the studio, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.